In the last video, we determined that we could compare the rank attributes of two card objects, but we could not compare two card objects themselves. We can make comparison more intuitive by overriding some more methods inside the MyCard class. My deck, excuse me. So recall we discussed overriding the string method of a card, which gives us a value that will be printed if we decide to print a card. We can override other methods as well. We're going to override the less than method and the greater than method. Python has a default implementation for less than and greater than as well. And these methods are special in that they do not use the typical syntax you might see for example a print statement where you have print parenthesis what you want to print in parenthesis but instead you use the less than and the greater than operators so what we are doing now is overriding the behavior of the less than and the greater than operators when we want to compare two card objects. When we compare two cards, we want to compare them by their ranks. So let's override less than by saying self.rank is less than other.rank. Likewise, let's say that greater than will return self.rank is greater than other.rank. So now the less than and the greater than operators will return Boolean values just as they would between two integers, for example. And that's the, the, excuse me, the less than or the greater than Boolean values will be based on whether or not the ranks of each card are less than or greater than the other. We can override other methods as well. For example, we could override uh, greater than or equal to. We could override equal or not equal. We could override length and that's not terribly intuitive on a card, what the length of a card would be, but it is intuitive on what a deck would be. So we could say, define length of the deck to return the length of self.deck. So the length of this list right here. So now if we call length on a deck, we'll be able to find out how many cards remain in the deck. Okay, let's take a look at some of our overridden methods in action.
So remember, we're able to print the cards because we overrode the string method. The string method is returning a string, which is then being printed. Now let's try comparing the cards. Because we overrode the less than and the greater than operators inside the card class, we now get intuitive comparison behaviors between cards. You could understand how this would be very useful when implementing card games. If we wanted to compare the value of two cards, one card drawn by each of two players, now all we need to do is ask whether card 1 is less than card 2. We didn't account for less than or uh, less than or equal to, but we'll save that for another time. You could easily do that as well. Finally, let's see what length now returns for our deck since we overrode the length method, the len method inside of the shuffle deck class. 50. This is what we would expect since we have drawn two cards from that deck. And of course if we draw one more, length of the deck is 49, and let's see what card we got. Okay, so that's the highest value card yet. In the next video, we'll see how object-oriented programming principles can make an implementation of five-card draw more intuitive and readable.